and welcome back to the channel <laughs> on this video we've got keith back with us how are you doing keith pretty good how's, how's it going mark good <laughs> y'all healed up now i'm getting there oh yeah that looks that looks pretty good now you're a lot room. better right yeah not much left no just remnants now it's just itchy that's all it is yeah that means it's healing right <laughs> yeah so today the rad rover's coming out and keith's going to give it a first ride he's never ridden that one before yet so i want to get his impression on it and i'll be riding the lyric graffiti so let's hop on and go for a ride and then i'll ask keith uh what he thinks of the bike Sounds i should to me. i should actually show you how to okay so let's we've go got it the... on there and then your options are uh, pedal assist one two three four and five okay and then this one just puts you back down and this here will turn off or on the throttle whichever okay. you prefer you can mess with that and you'll see which one is which i'm guessing pushed in in is throttle. on okay push okay. and off is out okay and then you've got your seven speed right there pretty much just like the grizzly all right yep so here we go all right let's go so we're gonna be going that way okay i gotta turn mine on here all right You might want to adjust that seat. I don't know. I think so. <clears throat> this might work. So usually I'm right about my <coughs> toes. Okay. So I'm guessing that feels pretty good. Oh, yeah. You might want to throttle to get yourself going a bit, but I usually find with that bike, uh, pedal assist three is the comfort uh, spot for me on riding it. Okay, so well, right now I have it on zero. Oh wow! So, so you're using all of your own power no motor assist at all so it's only one gear in the front it's uh yeah we only have one gear in the front right yeah there's seven speeds seven speeds okay yeah Here. so there's no pedal assist right now do you find it heavy to pedal though? Uh, not too bad. <clears throat> I'm gonna run straight. Yep. The next road that's just around the corner there, you'll turn left. Okay. So right away, the first thoughts on this, with no pedal assist, it's actually really nice and easy to pedal. Wow, that's good. It's not an overly heavy bike with the battery and all, it's about 68 pounds that one. This is a great bike for someone that just wants to pedal assist, like going up hills, but you know, still wants a regular bike. Yeah. I think this is perfect. Well, I'm gonna ride it a little bit without the pedal assist. Uh, smooth. I find that bike to be a smooth bike. It's very comfortable too. Yeah. I think we missed our turn, but that's okay. <laughs> now you're going up a slight hill. Do you notice that a little bit harder? Okay, you get an exercise. <laughs> you get a workout real fast. Yeah, I know. Yeah, any kind of hill at all, you're gonna, if you're just gonna use your own power, you're gonna feel it. Okay, I'm gonna put it on one. That actually feels really good. Yeah, it, it's, it's nice. Can you still get your exercise? Yeah, you'll still get your exercise and you get the little assistance. Yep. Yeah. Number two feels really good. Yeah. Like I say, three is the one that I like on that bike. So I'm going to pedal assist one, and then 
I'm gonna do about what 10 miles an hour. Yep. Nice, easy, comfortable ride. Yeah, you'll see your uh, battery power level is at five, right? On there, you'll see the batteries at the top left. Yeah, it's fully charged. It probably won't even go down a bar if you're just using pedal assist one or no assist. Okay. Obviously, no assist isn't going to use any, but. It's a 14 amp hour battery and a 48 volt. Right, because right. we didn't make our turn. We got to go back there again. Oh, gotcha. But that's okay. You that get the test. Probably I think, my fault. While well, you're you're testing the bike, I wasn't paying attention either. Yeah, number one feels perfect. Did you try any of the bikes at that Trek uh, store? No, they were a little busy that day, so we decided to just get our seat and take off. I was gonna get you to compare what do you think between this one and that those are were those flat tire those track or no um, they call them the balloon tires they're not really fat tires but they are thicker than regular bike tires but nothing like this no you get a smoother ride with these wide tires right so that's the nice thing about flat tires right now back on pedal assist zero I'm let this car get by Okay, and we're going to turn right at the stop sign. Okay. And then at the next stop sign, just go straight, uh, keep going straight after the stop. Okay, I'm still on pedal assist zero. Wow. First gear. You, you uh, sit up pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, I like that though. Yeah, you want your legs to extend, right? Yeah. See, I want my legs to extend, but I also want to be able to touch the ground so I have control. But I guess you can lean a little bit to one side. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, that bike is step over, but it's kind of half. The bar is not, you know, there's a little bit of space there. A little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. Now you're going to go straight at the stop sign, and then at the next one, turn right. Okay. Yeah, I'm on my tippy toes. Okay, second gear. Now turn left again. Okay. I can feel the burn in my leg. Yeah, you might want to eventually put on the motor. <laughs> And then at the stop up here, you just keep going straight okay. to the end of that road and then turn left. And as you can see, we're kind of going uphill. Still pedal at zero. You know that bike? I've never had a flat tire with it. I'm only to I'm cruising up this really easy. This is not a hard bike to pedal at all. No, so if your battery died on you, you'd still be able to pedal it? See, that's a, a plus.
<laughs> it's got some get up and go too, doesn't it? Yeah. And smooth. Yep. Okay, yep. Straight, yeah, around this and straight. And then at that stop sign, turn left. Okay. <clears throat> I've got the tires pretty hard on that bike, blown up pretty good. I think they're at the max. I think they're perfect. They do a really good yeah. hit. So I'm in number two. Slight hill right here. Yeah. Yeah, I've had it at 30 miles an hour going down a hill, but... Yeah. But on the flat, the fastest I've had the rad is at 24.6. That's, that's what I hit right there. So it's not a speed demon, but it's it's good. You know, it's basically, it's basically a class two and a half. It's a class two bike, but you can go halfway toward the uh, 28 miles an hour, which would make it class three. So when I got up to 24 miles an hour, you can feel the power cut off. Yeah, it, it kind of holds you right there, I know. Yeah. I think it wants to go faster, it but it, it, the controller, like they've got it set where it can only go that. I noticed that too, you can feel it hold you back. I think this thing could be well over 30 miles an hour. It could go probably 30 anyway, oh, yeah. or a little well, bit more. The gearing definitely has it. It's a 750 watt, 48 volt motor, so. So have you you played with that button then for the throttle, have you? Yeah, it is. It's a, it's good. If I uh, like, I say, if I was picking one bike for pedaling, I like that one for the the way it pedals. It's different than your traditional bike, isn't it? It's nice to have that extra oomph. That shade feels good. Yeah, I kind of like that. Now you can either go straight back out the way we came in or go up the, to the right. There's a hill you can go up and get out that way too. Okay, just kind of give me directions as we go. 
Okay, so the, this path you'll see where you get an option right here. Just keep going straight up that hill to the right. Okay. You'll get to test it on a little bit of a hill right there. <clears throat> It'll make you work a bit with it. Yeah, number one still gives you a good workout. Yeah, you still get to, uh, it helps you a little, but you still got to do some work. Yeah. Number two kind of does too, allows you to go a little bit back. Yeah, each one you can tell the difference. See that's where that's where you want the assist uh, from the uh, electric bike, right? Yeah. So hopping off the seat right that that step dude really helps out. Okay, so that street there we can just turn right. Okay, we'll go to the right. Okay. Eventually that'll get out to Fisher. Okay. You know, I don't really have any criticisms for that bike. I can't think of anything that is not good on it, no, but I, don't have any I guess the only thing is, if, you want, if you're looking for power, you're not gonna get a lot of power out of that bike. It's more of a, if you want just the assist, you know, of the motor without having huge power, you know? I classify this one as an actual e-bike, not an e-motorcycle. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a regular, it's more of a, a traditional bike with a motor on it yeah. and fat tires. Mm. If I'm just buying a bike, then I want to uh, more like that. I'd, I'd for sure want the fat tires though, no matter what. Yeah. yeah. I just like the, uh, I like the comfort of a ride with the fat tires myself, but. Yeah, and if you want to go, if you want to be comfortable riding at a good speed without overexerting yourself, and then you turn left here. Okay, this is the target. Right? Yeah, okay. and if you uh, so if you want to go like faster on the road, closer to 20 miles an hour with that bike, I say number three. Yes. Pedaling at a good pace, like say we're on Durham there, and you want to go about 18 miles an hour. That's that's what you get on that one. I think at uh, assist uh, three. And on number five, you'll probably be doing 15 to 18 miles an hour effortlessly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, this yeah, thing is not that. slow at all. This, no. It's it's got plenty of power. It's, it's not a speed demon, like I say, but if you want a bike that with assistance, you know, motor assistance to help you, then that's that's as good as you're going to... I think this is all you need is this right here. Yeah. Honestly, anything more than this is just crazy. Crazy like you. <laughs> you can get a little reckless and have accidents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a, I, I like this bike. This is a perfect cruiser. Okay, so let's go back to the left here, right? Left. I wonder if your wife would like that bike. I think she would love this bike. And that is the main reason why I wanted to ride it, too. Yeah, I wanted to have you try it, because you haven't tried that one yet. No. I thought you were going to like it right from the start. It's Because I, I, I haven't seen anybody who doesn't like that bike yet. So if you're somebody that wants multiple e-bikes, you're gonna want this one and the Grizzly or the Lyric. These, these are two separate bikes, you know. You yeah, they're different. One. They're all for different uh, people, right? It yeah. depends what you want. Buy whatever style you want. Now, I agree with you in a way that you kind of need a couple of them. Yes, you do. <laughs> you need one like that and you need one like the Grizzly, right? Or like the Lyric Graffiti. Because if you were riding with Sierra, you'd want to have one like that. You'd both want one like that. But if you're riding with me or somebody that's going a little bit quicker, you'd want to have one of these. So now you got your Lyric, now you got to get the Ghost. Oh yeah. No, I'd probably pick the Voodoo myself, would okay. be the, the one. Maybe some, a certain somebody's watching the channel, they might give you a good discount. Yeah. Okay, so right now we're on pedal assist 
But see, with the Grizzly, you can pedal that too. You pedaled it, right? Oh, yeah. But the thing is, I can't extend my legs on that, so it doesn't feel like I get a full power stroke. No, and you can't adjust the seat. Yeah. The only thing you could do is buy a new seat that's longer. I need something that's higher. Yeah, or you can get, I think you can get a thicker, uh, a longer and thicker seat that'll put you up more. Okay. Maybe that's what you'd need. Okay, which way you want to go? To the right? You can either go right or go straight. and turn down either the first street or the second one there. All right. First or second? Yeah. I think this one might be a dead end, I believe. Yeah. I guess it was the third one I won. Sometimes they have a little uh, pathway through there, but it doesn't look like they do. You can go down one more street. Or go back to the one we just went by, that one. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, at the light. For pedal assist too? Yeah, you know, go from the stop sign to get across the intersection really fast. Mm -hmm. Two is really all you need. You don't need to crank it up to five. This thing has more than enough power to get you across the intersection fast enough. You know? That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sometimes uh, from a standstill, people like to use the throttle just to get themselves going. Yeah. Because it's hard to pedal at first to get started. And then once you get going, then you can just go to the pedal assist. You can turn off the throttle if you want you know just use pedal assist it's a comfortable bike for pedal yeah, assist it's, this is very nice it's very yeah stable. it's it feels like a regular bike especially at number one it's subtle but it's enough to notice it it's a, you know you can notice that you're getting the extra oomph I guess we're going to have to go uh, at, at the stop sign, go back left to that second street down again, and we'll go through there so we can get back through. Okay. Yeah. So that tire, those tires on there are, are Ken to Juggernaut 26 by 4. You, you, yeah. And they have them right on the, the parts all are easy to get because they're right on the rad, you know, their site. And they, I think there's a store in Portland that sells okay. it. I mean, when I bought the bike, I bought it online. Yeah. Um, but it, uh, but they do have uh, places that'll, but they're pretty simple. Like you said, there's not a lot to it. Right. Like you got your controller where you see it under your seat there down at the bottom. The only thing I don't like, there is one thing that I noticed about this bike, seeing somebody else riding it. This light is too low. They should have it up higher because the fender- It blocks the Kind of blocks it, the brake light and stuff, yeah. So I would definitely recommend an aftermarket tail light right here. And on this bike, like you said, the headlight is not very bright. So you. You'd probably have an, act, you know, an aftermarket one for sure. You could put a, a light up here maybe where the handle is, but I like that handle for lifting the bike. Yeah, I'm probably That's really handy. Just one like right here, a little bit higher. It's always good to have two extra lights on your bike anyway, you know. Is that seat 
where you'd like it then, right where you have it. Yeah, now? right here. It's probably just a little bit too high, but it feels really good. It's, it's but not so you a can adjust it, adjust it on the go, though. Yeah, that's the nice thing about this one. I don't know if your followers notice that, but yeah, you can adjust this on the go. Yeah. It, it takes a second. It's it's easy. Yeah, you just pop that lever. Yeah, you just pop the lever right here. And then, yeah, you can adjust yeah. it any way you want. You know, you could put a mark on there if you got to know where you liked it. Right. And then you'd know every time if you had to adjust it for somebody else. You know where your spot is, you know? Yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that. Like put a, a red mark for you and a blue mark for your wife or whatever. Whoever. Yeah, you can easily do that, yeah. Yeah, so that you don't have to... How's the brakes? Feels really good. Nice, they feel solid. It, it stops the bike easy. I mean, no problem at all. No, this, this bike feels, I would have to say, pretty much perfect. I Looks mean, like you've gone three miles because it was 8.04. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get going. All right, so we're going to go left, two streets down, and then turn left. Okay, so I'm going to pedal assist number two. The bike's in third gear. I should be able to do this pretty easy. But like you said, the throttle probably would have helped right there. Yeah, the throttle is really good for just getting you going, especially in an intersection. You want to get out of there as quick as possible. Right. And that's where the throttle comes in handy, I think. Okay. So you want to turn down this street here left. Yeah. No, actually, it's the next one. That's the uh, dead end one. Right here, oh, you can get through there. Do you notice on that bike for a hub motor, rear hub motor geared, that it's quiet, pretty quiet? Yeah, it's really quiet. Compared to the Grizzly? Now we're gonna go left. Okay. Those fenders, I had to buy those separate. Did you really? Okay. Yeah, but now they come with the, it was, they were $90 and they were on back order. I had to wait. When I first got the bike, there was no fenders on it. Okay. They were $90, but I definitely wanted fenders. So another thing I'm noticing about throttle only, since the motor is not like a, you know, super powerful like the Grizzly is, the power comes on really smooth. Yeah. It's not jerky, you don't hear anything. It just goes on real nice and easy. Yep. It takes you a few a few seconds to get up to speed, but it once it gets there, it's pretty smooth. Yep. Yeah, you don't have that fear of like hold on, you know. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna throw you off the bike or anything. Yeah, even if you just actually throw it all the way, there's it's just so smooth. Yeah. It's like the lyric. Sierra needs a basket though to carry her uh, creatures with her. Yeah, that's gonna be my <laughs> wife one of these days. <clears throat> have a, a baby stroller just for her pet. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, still going straight? Yep. See, that's nice to have the throttle just to get you going. Yeah. Then you can always turn it off.
lump up here. Nice yeah. Yeah, it's not going to throw you off the bike or anything. Not at all. Should we have a little race? Okay. This bike is the same thing. It's a little bit slower on the takeoff, but once it gets going, it's pretty quick to get up to speed. All right, here we are. We All right, back. now that was your first ride on the Rad Rover. Look how nice and easy this is to put up to you. Not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's about 68 pounds. If we take the battery off, it's about 60 pounds. <clears throat> so not bad. So what did you think? What is your first ride impressions of the bike? Uh, I love it. This is an actual e-bike and not really an e-motorcycle or the scrambler style. This is, I really like this bike. So if I only had to pick one, I don't know, I might have to pick this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you get a good exercise. You know, if you want a, a bike, this is what you're going to want right here. It's more cruiser. It's, it, it's very comfortable. Like my back doesn't hurt. The grips are really nice. Uh, the gearing is really... It, it shifts really easy. You know, you just click this one time, it upshifts. It feels like it finds the gear perfectly. You know, there, it, I don't know, there's nothing bad to say about it. I think when I'm riding, I'd probably put this screen up a little bit because you do have to kind of look down like that, you know, to see your speed if you if you do want to look at that. But brakes feel really good. The, the ride is really smooth, smooth and, you know, not bumpy at all. Um, and for, it only has front suspension, but even riding with the front suspension, you can feel the, the front working, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely feel it kind of bounce a little bit. So, you, I don't know, you might want to lock it out on, on the streets. Um, yeah, you can you can adjust it to whatever you like. My favorite part of this bike, unlike the uh, Graffiti, is you can adjust the seat. You know, yeah. that's the one thing that you cannot do on this style of bike, right? Another thing about the seat, it's wide, so it's not like a on my mountain bike has a real narrow seat. Yeah. It kind of hurts a little bit. Yeah. I feel like this seat is very comfortable. Like, it, yeah, I'm not hurting at all. You can always get the gel pad or, or a different kind of seat. Yeah, if you, you can always get a different. wider seat. But yeah. This is pretty wide as it is. I think this will probably be nice for most people. Yeah. I this is probably a high performance cruiser bike. I mean, a beach cruiser. That's how I'd probably classify it. You know. <laughs> So you're impressed? Oh yeah, this is a nice bike. I would probably keep all three of your bikes. <laughs> Red. Okay. Yeah, Rad Rover. I like That's it a the lot. Rad Rover the, was... the power, more than enough power. Um, you know, just keeping a pedal assist one and just use these gears. That's all you really need. If you you're going up a hill, maybe two, three at the most. And then, like we were saying earlier, the throttles is nice and smooth. Like you're, there's no jerkiness to it at all. Even if you just accidentally throttle it full throttle, you're not going to have a problem with it. You're not going to feel that jerkiness like you do on the Grizzly. No. And one thing about using low pedal assist levels, you're going to get more range. Yeah. You're going to be able to go quite a ways. I don't know what you could get on the bike. It all depends on everything, right? The, um, the, the, yeah, uh, depending on the hills. weight of the rider. Yeah. yeah. The terrain. The uh, weather conditions, all of that stuff will play a factor, but you're going to get pretty good mileage. So if you only use one or two or three occasionally on a hill. And uh, pedal assist zero still was really pretty easy for me. I mean, you know, if you have experience riding a bike or just, you know, in shape for riding a bike, you you probably only need the pedal assist, you know, just up in the hills or, just, you know, just whenever you're. You know, you don't need it all the time. So basically, if you are if you did lose power on your bike, you could actually pedal this bike. Yes, easily. And uh, the only thing you may not have uh, be able to pedal or have trouble with is hills. Downhill will be fine. Yeah, but, you might have to walk up a few hills. Yeah, but, but otherwise it's doable. Yeah. Yeah. I would hate, like, on the Grizzly, the battery would bet on that. I'd probably yeah, I know. The, the heavier bikes, that Grizzly's over 100 pounds. If and I this is... you back, you just like, screw this, I'm going to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. I'm going back to the Rad Rover. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much, Keith. Yeah, no problem, Mark. Thanks for letting me ride the bike. Yeah, I love it. I'm glad you, uh, I wanted to hear another perspective, and uh, I'm glad you were able to get on there and yeah, give us your I opinion. Yeah, too, is the build quality, it feels really nice. The, the chain's not making any noises. It's, it's perfect. I, I can't, I don't have anything bad to say about this bike at all. Yeah, I mean, Rad, they have a, they have a good name for themselves, Rad Especially Power Bikes. Especially for the price. It's right a great there. bike, yeah. <clears throat> All right, nothing well, bad to say about it at all so that's going to do it for this video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button thank you very much for doing that and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit the notification bell and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other videos go ahead and leave it in the comments below and once again thank you for joining me on this video Thank you, Keith. And until next time, take care.